Hi, welcome to Luna Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a general weekly reading for next week in December 2021 for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. So please take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, please don't try to make it fit. Please keep in mind that everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law, cause, and effect. So let's see. Show me the recent past for Libra, please. Recent past. Okay, you have the hangman in the reverse. So in the recent past, you or someone else was being very selfish, very one-sided um, financially, but also emotionally. Also, someone could have betrayed you or tried to be a traitor in your financial world as well. Could have been done with Pisces in the recent past. What about currently? What's going on for... Okay, there you are, Libra. You're standing in your power. You're, you know, cut a bitch if you have to. You're not dealing with no bullshit. You only want the truth. You only deal with the truth, and that's it. That's it. You want peace, but you're not going to deal with no bullshit either. You're not going to deal with this type of energy from the recent past. You're standing guard about that. You're not going to deal with it. What's in your future, please, for my Libras? Up two. Okay, you have the Ten of Cups in the upright. You have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. This could be a same-sex relationship. It doesn't have to be. Um, someone could be in your... Okay, so in the near future, someone in your family could be manipulating you emotionally. Or someone in your family is going to get out of pocket with you emotionally. Or you could be worrying about a water signs family in the near future. Or you yourself are going to have your emotions out of pocket in the near future. All right, let's see. This involves work. It's in the recent past. Someone was taking your work or taking your money in the recent past. Okay. Can I source, please? Yeah, you're protecting your home and your work, your, your space, your sacred space. You feel like you're protecting your family. But it is getting, making, okay. You're protecting your family and your home and your work. Even though you're doing it, it's still making you a little emotional. Ten of Cups, please. Main female, this is you. I feel like this is you. You are protecting your, your life, your family, your future. And, so, okay. Someone could be lie, emotionally lying to you about courtship here with you. Because this is two different females. And we have two different females here. So be mindful in the near future if someone isn't playing you about what they actually want. You see what I'm saying? Let's see. In the recent, okay, also in the recent past, you were looking at your money a lot. You were working very, very hard and very diligently. But someone betrayed you financially. Or they, yeah, they have. Someone financially abused your work or financially abused you in the past, but you got out of that situation and you, you were able to get the keys to a new home. You were able to leave that situation. So you have the house twice here. Now, you, now you're moving on to greater things, but you, now you're protecting yourself and protecting your home. Show me the house, please. Yeah, you're keeping your financial, financial business to yourself because you know that there's someone around you who's being sneaky with money or who's sneaky about money that you need to guard yourself from. Okay, are there, and someone could be financially abusing you, or not financially abusing, but very codependent on you, financially. There's seven of wands, so you need to protect yourself from the mice here. That needs to change, or you yourself have a lot of codependency um, currently going on. Or somebody here is keeping secrets from you, and they're very, they're trying to keep you emotionally codependent on them. Alright, why is main female here in the near future? I feel like this is you. You have a choice that you need to make, and you're going to get some form of communication about right investment, about um, proper investment, return of investments here in your financial world, but also in your like your work, but also in love. Why is courtship here? This can talk about someone having many options or chattering, a lot of gossip too about other options. Courtship. Someone is hiding this from you. Someone has somebody else that they're talking to or invested in some form or fashion. Could be at a distance from them. Someone has somebody else. They have someone else. If you if this is resonating with you thus far, this person in the near future is going to have somebody else that they're going to hide from you that they're communicating with. Okay, let's see who might you be dealing with. This one. So we have Pisces. We got uh, Gemini, another Libra, um, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces. Could even be a Scorpio, maybe. Let's see. Who is Libra dealing with? Oh, 
Okay, get in mode Capricorn. A Virgo. A Sagittarius or a Leo. Could even be a Cancer. So Sun, Moon, Rising, okay? Let's see, let me get you some guidance here. Oh, okay, that was fast. It says full moon and in Aquarius be real. Full moon in Libra, find balance. You need to be real and find balance in the situation here. Aquarius and Libra here. Okay? All right, Libra, this is what I have for you. I hope this helps. Um, yeah, just please be mindful of anyone. So they're going to be hiding. They're hiding someone else at a distance that they're communicating with here in the near future. Okay? Or this could be you, obviously. So keep that in mind. All right. Well, I hope this helps. If you do want to get a personal reading with me, I am running a special. The details are in the, the description box. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, Libra, I love you guys. Until next time. Bye.